Hey guys, welcome to Functions Part 2. We're going to be going through some simultaneous equations, plotting intersections on the graph. Alright, so let's begin. Uh, simultaneous equations. Alright, so in this question, they're asking us, um, we've got a line which is y equals x plus 6, which is this line going across there. And we've got another line, which is y equals absolute value 2x. And that's this one going like that. Right? Now what they're asking is what is the coordinates or what are the coordinates of this point here? Now you may be able to find it by drawing out the graph, but it's much faster and much more accurate if you do it through simultaneous equations. Alright, okay first off, y equals x plus 6, but y also equals 2x. as an absolute value, okay? So we can just take out the y here, an absolute value 2x is equal to x plus 6, right? So then we can write this out as x plus 6 is equal to 2x, and of course the other part of the um, absolute value is x plus 6 is equal to minus 2x, okay? So we have two of these values, so we'll write like and in between. Alright, so x plus 6 equals 2x, therefore 6 is equal to x, right? That's pretty simple, move the x over, when you move it over, you minus it, so that way you've just got 6 left over on this side, so 6 equals x. Now on this, x plus 6 equals minus 2x. Therefore, when we move the x over, it's going to equal 6 is equal to minus 3x. Alright? And that is going to equal minus x is equal to 2. And then when we flip that round, because we always want the x to be positive, x is equal to minus 2. Alright? Now we can just put this back into our equation here. So, at x equals minus 2, comma, y is going to be equal minus 2 plus 6 which is going to be equal to 4. At x is equal to, another one, x is equal to 6, comma, y is equal to 6 plus 6. And that is going to give us 12. Okay? So now we've got our x values and our y values. So we can just put this out in coordinates. So point where it will intersect will be these points and that is represented by minus 2 this one comma 4 we've also got the other coordinates where x is 6 comma and y is 12 and if we probably measured that out we'll be able to find out that that's true so there would equal to that x value, minus 2, and that intersection will be 4. And we can clearly see that on our graph. Alright, thanks guys. Uh, join us next time for where we'll be going into a further, I think we'll be going through um, more of the ratios that we have in the functions, and some probably text-based ones to kind of broaden out the knowledge. Alright.